when you saw mine. Yep, right. Here we go. I mean, the best part of the fish is the skin. Who agrees? Mm -hmm. You guys don't even know. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nerds. Right, so I was just having a look through all this weed along this beach here. And I just flipped over this bit of weed here and look what we found in the weed. A nice big sand sinker. Look. Nice. Always like getting free uh, sinkers off the beach. I just found a nice little one here. Look, Get this one out. Nice little. Is that a four ounce? Might be a four ounce, I think. Look at that. <laughs> nice, nice little sinker there. Is it a four ounce? Three ounce? It doesn't say. I think it's probably a four. Also got a bit of bling on there. Look at that. So, check Mike's waders out. Look at these. Woo -hoo. Nice. Look at those, eh? Knee pads. Oh, they've got pockets in them. Got the pockets up here for them. Yep. Snoopy, oh, yeah. They're all right, eh? Fit you yeah. all right? Yeah, bro. Wait on the bottom. Been a while since I've done this. Hey, turn your bucket around, Mike. Ah, yeah. oh, it's warm, bro. Oh, other way. Other way. Oh. Turn them right back this way. There you go. Two old fellas came and figured that out. <laughs> Been a while, Mike. A bit rusty. A bit rusty, Mike. Two old fellas like us. So, yeah, welcome back to another video. I was going to do something else this morning and Mike messaged me, you want to do this? So I said, hell yeah, it's been a while since we've had flounder, so why not come and do this, my friends? What do you guys reckon? So I'll back to you guys soon, because they're going to uh, carry the old line. So we'll set this up, and we're going to do a bit of a splash. Whew, end of March, man, it is freaking hot today. Just like summer. Whew. So you've probably been a year since we've last had a white bait. And Mike asked me about two weeks ago if I was keen, but I just tested positive for the COVID. So I couldn't go. But here we are here. Oh uh, yeah. Cop bait. Is the water warm? So low tide's in about another hour, low tide, so hopefully we're going to do a few sets today, I'm looking forward to it. Not used to that. There's <laughs> <coughs> yeah. one, there's one. I'll get that bag off you, eh? Yeah. Well done, Mike. The only one we got, eh? Mike saw that one yeah. the ages away, ages ago. Come here. one, eh? Come yeah. on, mate. Is the one you saw, Mike? Yeah, right. There we go. Hopefully one more will be good. Oh, oh yes yeah. there is. Oh. Oh. Illegal though, I would say. Oh, yellow belly, eh? Oh. 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 
he's like on a door, he's gonna do your heat break. Yeah. What? Yeah. Damn it. Stuck, in, stuck in the net. Got him. Oh, this is a nice one, look. We're in the shallow water here, right? It's easy. Oh. Oh, it must be still. Good feeling there, eh? That feeling, you can feel them tugging. Yeah. Man, it's oh, hard work. It's pretty hard work. Oh. Hard work, but another one. Yeah. Let's put our bag here. We've got some flounder, and that's set. We have two in the last set. Two yellow baddies, and there we got. Oh, and I'm so not found a fit for doing this. Oh, I'm not found a fit, Mike. Oh, yeah, you're too in there. I mean, oh, yeah, oh, yeah choice. Yeah. Oh, that's what's going on. It got really stuck through the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. What? Yeah. Let's get this one out. That's a nice flounder. Another little yellow belly egg. Yeah. You hold that more. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's a nice one, too. Not big buggers, eh, Mike? But they're legal, eh? I suppose. Yeah. All right. Come here, founder. Yep. Exactly, eh? Yep. Good yep. boot. <laughs> we work hard for you, our eco today. Oh, I'm in the that's a nice one, bro. Oh, that's a nice yellow belly. Yeah. Ah, check that one out. Bright yellow, eh? Yeah. Look at that one up there. Where is he? <laughs> oh, oh. Got him? Yeah. Here we are. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice one, that's eh? A yummy one, eh? There you go, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. The wicker hat. Job this this pole here. Somebody else has been foundering here. The marker in the ground, so we're gonna take this home as a souvenir. Somebody else's pole was left just over there, so this founder spot is not only else, it's other people as well. This might be set number maybe six. This will be our last set for today. Very hot as in these waders. End of March. Alright, so last set, then we're gonna go and get some cockles. Mike wants a feed of cockles. Set with this pole is heavy as. We got a car wire in that set. We got a car wire in that set. Oh, nice! How many was chasing those fish, eh? One's alright, one's not. Oh, yeah. I don't know. One there looks alright, eh? Yeah, that one's yeah. alright, the other one's a bit small. One. Let one go away. Yeah. Here we are. Let this one go. I can all like that. If you swim around back into the net, you're going home for tea. Here it goes. Backwards. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice, mate. Yeah. Oh, look at that, guys. That big mullet. Never caught a mullet before. I think he's gone over me. Oh yeah. Let me get off that way it's easier. Mm -hmm. 
We was gonna go nowhere. No. Oh, I think you're in. Flying into the air. Oh, yeah. Come on, the knife is cut a zero. Here you go. Here we go, Mike. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We've got a missing and a half. That one, but we got it. We succeeded. That nice yellow belly. He's coming home for tea. Here we go. Oh, that was a good little set. Oh, dang. Oh, oh. Yeah, back. Here we are walking that big distance back carrying that, all that fish. Man, I'm so not fit. Oh. So, them and sweetie, hot. But that was way worth it, way worth it, especially getting that mullet at the end. Not out of the net though, that was hard work, but nice sized mullet. So, very successful morning. Yeah. You can smell that mullet. It looks thirsty ears, look. Yeah, leave the mullet in the sack. Oh, okay. Just tip them out down there if you want. Oh, okay. Oh, anyway. There you are, you got a kai today. Some nice yellow bellies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Mike. Yep. Yeah. The ten in the mullet. We have got an awesome day here today. Still a very nice day. Somebody's footprints are there. There he is. Cockles here already out of the water, look. There's bloody millions here. Millions of cockles. Probably trillions. I would say trillions of cockles here. The water's quite warm in this place. I feel a bit lightheaded. <sighs> a couple there. Oh, where's my off to? A lot of empty ones, Mike. They're not big ones here, but they are sweet. Very sweet. Oh, oh that's a nice one. Check that one out. If you small down the South Island, they'd be little. Oh, I had to get out of the water. I had to get out, I was feeling really queasy. Yeah, I've been in over and I kept on getting head rushes all the time. Oh. Every time I've been in over, trying to find some cockles, I get up and I'm just like, oh, I'm going to spin out. So I managed to get a few. I don't actually eat that many cockles. I just do enough for a film, for a video, for a taste test, and then I normally give them away to people. Well, Erin has some. But probably about half past three. So I've had no food, and it definitely wouldn't help. But man, I just queasy ears. And I don't want to fall in the water and it might get to pick me up. And <laughs> try and drag me out of the water because it wouldn't be much fun. 
So he's still in there grabbing some more cockles out for himself because he can eat cockles better than I can. So I'm just going to sit here and have a lie down a bit till, till Mike gets out of the water. But yeah, man, I don't want to fall over. I'm sweaty, hot, and I'm just a bit tired. Oh, jeez. Oh. Sure, oh, sure. two, two of those will be one feed for you. You've got two, oh. big, two good ones there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mike. I know you enjoyed your flounders. No, 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 it's really, oh. it's all good, it's all good. There we have it, there's our, um, our flounder, I've just scuttered them and I've taken the four the, in the, uh, the gills as well. And washed them all and they are all ready to eat our tasty little flounders there. That's a good size one, isn't it? I've just got a handful of cockles here for you, Aaron. Not very hungry for them this trip. So we picked um, it's enough for Erin for a taste test for her. Some yummy cockles here as well. So I just had a bit of a lie down for a while. I was feeling really tired. It was such a hot day today gathering with Mike. It's about four hours, five hours in the sun. And it was just so hot, so hot. And uh, yeah, I just had to lie down for a while. It's buggered. It's now 20 past seven. So I hope you guys enjoy this cook up. Some fresh flounder and butter, some oil and some eggs. We've got some uh, salad in the fridge, some lettuce leaves and some um, mm, other stuff. Some Japanese uh, stuff, anyway. Yeah, you know, yellow belly. They have beautiful colours on these fish. Here we have it. There's the old flounder there. So I've got a bowl here. I'm going to put a bit of flour in this bowl here. Then we're just going to dust it straight into the pan once the pan's turned on. And we're going to cook that up nice and simple. Simple kai, but very, very tasty. So stick around and I hope you enjoy this video. So cheers to Mike for taking us out floundering today. That's all you need, I think. You can't beat eating fresh flounder straight the same day you caught it. No sitting in fishmongers for ages, all pack and spend. Do the little flounders they have in there. Make sure you dust the towel up because the towel can get quite crunchy. Hopefully this one will be crunchy too. Okay, right. Flip it over. Always makes a bit of a mess the old flour. So so simple to cook and easier. And there we have it, so that one's ready to go on. Oh man, a bit too much oil there. Oil and butter. Just like that. We're not quite hot enough yet, but we're just going to turn up a little bit more. And it'll get hot very soon. There we have it. Look at that. Fits nicely in the pan. For colours in this flounder, look at that. This is called this yellow belly. You get yellow belly and then you get the old sand flounder around here, which is, has a white belly on it. The yellow belly is more has more flavour they say. Isn't it a beautiful looking fish? Right there. Flip it over. The eyeballs there, see? Lovely camouflage colour on the front, on the top. Yes, you can hear that sizzling over here now. There it is. The old sizzling flounder. On cue. Put those pins down there in the back. There we go. I might have cut in half so I can fit both of them in the that's too big for the pan, this guy. I'm not cutting it half, the Juska. Are you ready? 
Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah, check that out. Check that out. That looks delicious. Check in the UV. So it'll be nice, we'll get that nice little crunch happening over here on these top fins there. Oh yeah. So it's nearly cooked there, I'm just going to give it a couple more minutes. And I'm going to put it into the old tray here, or we'll put it into the oven while we cook up the big guy over there. Perfect. the other side and put some eggs in soon and yeah time for a feast I'm not very hungry but I'm gonna eat it anyway eat this flounder up because fresh is best Flounder in there. Ooh, there it is. Just like that. Let's see. Just need a bit of seasoning on there, a bit of salt and pepper. Delicious flounder eggs and greens. So let's try and eat some of the skin first on this lovely flounder. Yours is in the oven, Erin? Yeah, I know. Leave it in two nuggets and then you can Chicken nuggets. Lots of good flounder. Do some, you want some flounder skin, Neve? Have a taste? You'll like it. It is so yummy. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that is really nice. Probably the best meal I've had all day. <laughs> the only meal apart from a couple of Macintosh lollies. Mm. So we're going to eat the skin off this part of the fish. Because that has to be definitely the best part of the fish is the skin. Who agrees? You guys don't even know what you're talking about, nerds. Mm. Mm. Well, well, that is that is really, really tasty. I'm kidding you not. Yum. Now we're going to try and eat some of this tasty fish that's under the skin. Mmm, 
in it is nice. Such a nice delicate fish, flounder. Delicate tasting and delicate to catch. Not delicate to catch really. Well. So I'm going to do a huge, huge big shout out to the brother Mike. Huge big shout out to you Mike, he is an awesome mate to have, I tell you. You guys got to have a mate like Mike, but he's awesome. So big shout out to you brother, brother Mike, out there. One of the awesomest Mahikai guys that I know. I'm enjoying this flounder very much, oh, we are. So I'm going to finish off with a bit of egg, a bit more flounder and then I'm going to, oh, <clears throat> for our taste test. Last little taste test, get that lovely bit of flounder out. We're going to put a bit of egg on it. Oh, maybe get the egg first. Get the egg, a bit of flounder on top. And it can almost make it, oh there's some roe there, look. The old flounder row, that was really nice. Mm. Bit of lettuce. It'll come straight off pretty easy, hopefully. Okay, take that off like that. And you suck these bones off here. And then what you have here is you have just a lovely big piece of skin and flounder and a bit of roe. Right, that might be the last taste test I think. There we go, we'll fold that over like that. Got a bit of lettuce on there. Mmm. Mm. Wow. It's so nice. Mm. I'm going to finish my kite. I'll get back to you guys later. We've got another cook up tomorrow to do, which is the mullet. I'll be smoking that up tomorrow. And we'll go and give some flounder away. And then we'll taste that lovely smoked mullet. So I'll get back to you guys then. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Mmm. Everyone's very quiet over there.